Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at recording audio. So this is one of those areas where everyone's setup is going to be slightly different. So I'm going to try and cover the most common two cases. So first things first, we need to go to the studio window and then, uh, sorry, studio menu and then go to audio connections. And you'll get a window like this. Now you'll probably see that if you click on the inputs tab, it will say something like built-in audio or, you know, generic audio, uh, etc. on Windows, but it will it should be set up like this, okay? So here, this is saying that we're going to record from that. Now, you can click here and see if there are any other options, but generally, you will want the, the built-in audio if you're on a Windows laptop or on a MacBook because that will give you a microphone input, which is what we're going to be recording with. Now, if you haven't got anything there or you're on a desktop PC where it doesn't have a mic built in, you can either plug something in using a mini jack into one of the inputs on the back, which I think is blue, but I'm sure people will correct me if it's not. Or you can invest in an external USB sound card, which if you're going to get into this, it's it's well worth doing. It's about 29 quid will get you a Behringer UM22, which is a perfectly serviceable uh, external USB sound card, which will allow you to plug a microphone in and record in, in pretty good quality. So you could get a lot done with that kind of thing. But I know I appreciate money obviously is tight for a lot of people at the moment. So that may not be it. You may just want to get on with this. But here we go. So this is just showing that we're connected to the built-in audio on the Mac. And that means that when we record, in this case, it has a microphone built in. In fact, you can see that in action because when I'm talking, here we can see the inputs because they're set to the microphone. So if I stop talking... You can see those meters stop working so that's showing that the microphone's working so now what we're going to do is actually look at recording so as with other tracks you can right click or two finger tap here and we're going to add audio track now the important thing here is we're going to pick mono okay so we're only recording from a single source i.e one microphone built into the computer so we only want mono i'm going to call it mic recording and hit add track and as you see it appears just like the other audio tracks you've seen when you imported samples and it looks a lot like instrument tracks etc so with an audio track we can see here it's only got a single circle because it's mono you'd see a sort of double circle icon if it was stereo so now we're going to record and it's exactly the same as when you recorded midi on the built-in keyboard etc so i'm just going to hit record we'll hear the count in and then I'm just going to say something. It's not going to be anything particularly interesting. And I'm definitely not going to sing. So you're okay. One, two, buckle my shoe. This is a test recording. So as you can see, that's recorded perfectly well. And we can go back and play that should we wish to. One, two, buckle my shoe. This is a test recording. And then once you've got that, you can just treat that in the same way you did all of the audio that you've seen before with the imported content so you can trim it we could turn snap off we could trim it move it around make it fit etc and we'll look at some other audio editing in the next video so i appreciate your setup may not have a microphone with it which may make recording uh, much more difficult but try putting something into the back of the computer on the audio input which nearly every computer has and then even if you're just playing audio from something else, just getting audio recorded would be a good step forward because obviously if you do get a microphone, you'll know exactly what to do. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at some more editing we can do with audio.